Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Gulf Air Board of Directors led by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Gulf Air, Zayed bin Rajid Zayani Al Ghudaybiyah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Gulf Air delegation discussed Gulf Air's current objectives and activities including initiatives to increase the airline's competitiveness and boost customer experiences. The Crown Prince encouraged the Gulf Air delegation to continue advancing performance standards and stressed that customer satisfaction must drive the overall success of the airline. His Royal Highness highlighted that advancing staff skills as well as the introduction of the latest aviation technologies will ensure that Gulf Air continues to play its key role in improving air connectivity and supporting economic growth. His Royal Highness went on to note that logistics and transportation represents one of Bahrain's key growth sectors, providing promising opportunities for companies seeking to expand their services in the region. For their part, the Chairman and Board of Directors of Gulf Air expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and took the opportunity to outline the airline's key plans and services. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met yesterday the Minister of Interior for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud at Ghudaybiyah Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strength of the historic bilateral ties, which are reinforced by the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness underlined Saudi Arabia's pivotal role in supporting regional security by combating terrorism and its funding. He welcomed His Royal Highness the Minister of Interior's visit to Bahrain, noting that the visit reflects the commitment of both countries to continue advancing coordination and cooperation. He expressed pride in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's ongoing support for the Kingdom of Bahrain. He emphasized the importance of Saudi Arabia's efforts under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques to support Arab and Islamic affairs, promote unity, safety, and security across the region. His Royal Highness went on to extend his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and to the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He expressed his wish that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia continues to achieve progress and prosperity under its wise leadership. The meeting provided an opportunity to discuss various regional and international developments as well as areas of shared interest. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then hosted a dinner banquet in honor of His Royal Highness the Interior Minister and his accompanying delegation.
The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today the Minister of Interior for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, as part of his visit to the Kingdom. Present were senior officials at the Ministry and the ambassadors of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The police band played the national anthem of Saudi Arabia. مجموعه العلم معترين Afterwards, a field parade was conducted which showcased the competence and discipline of the participating officers as well as their high level of readiness and precision in performance.
After the parade, the Saudi Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, headed to the police fort where they viewed the showcased artifacts. At the court's majlis, the senior officials at the ministry greeted the Saudi Minister of Interior, and the guest accompanying delegation greeted Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. After that, the minister delivered the following welcoming speech. يسعدني في هذا اليوم مبارك الترحيب بسموكم الكريم والوفد المرافق في زيارتكم الأخوية لبلدكم الثاني مملكة البحرين. إن هذه الزيارة هي محل التقدير والاعتزاز. وإنها ولا شك ساهم في تعزيز قوة الترابط الأمني بيننا في إطار ما ينعم به البلدان الشقيقات من عمق العلاقات الأخوية الراسخة في ظل قيادة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة وأخي خادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود حفظهم الله ورعاهم كما أود الإشادة بالعلاقات الوطيدة والمتميزة بين وزارتي الداخلية في كل من البلدين الشقيقين والتي شهدت تطورا ملموسا في مختلف مجالات التعاون الأمني مقدرين على الدوام المواقف الأصيلة للمملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة المؤيدة والداعمة في إطار تحقيق الأمن والنظام في مملكة البحرين صاحب السمو الملك إن رجال الأمن في بلدينا الشقيقين قد مروا بتجارب أمنية ميدانية كبيرة وخصوصا في مجال مكافحة الإرهاب وقدموا تضحيات جسام وهي محل تقدير واعتزاز الجميع وسوف تبقى خالدة في تاريخ الوطن وهو الأمر الذي يدعونا للاستفادة من هذه التجارب والعمل على تحليلها لاستخلاص الدروس من قبل المعنيين من أجل تطوير أداءنا الأمني في المستقبل بإذن الله وفي الختام أتمنى لسموك زيارة ناجحة تسهم في تعزيز أفاق التعاون الأمني في مختلف المجالات لتحقيق المصالح المشتركة في الحفاظ على الأمن والاستقرار وتوحيد المواقف في مواجهة التحديات الأمنية 
الراهنة والمستقبلية بما نملك من قوة الإرادة وصدق العزيمة بإذن الله مرحبا بسموكم الكريم بين أهلكم وأخوانكم فأهلا وسهلا بكم وعلى الرحب والسعة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام The, the Minister of Interior delivered a commemorative gift to Saudi counterpart. During these talks, the two sides discussed several security issues of mutual concern within the framework of strengthening cooperation and coordination in the field of security work to face all challenges imposed at the region on international levels. Both parties agreed to form a joint Supreme Security Committee headed by the Deputy Interior Minister from the Bahaini side and the Interior Minister from the Saudi side to discuss the topics. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, announced the return of Bahrain's specialized animal exhibition Mara'i for this year, affirming that livestock is one of the main pillars of food security in the country. The minister stated that the government has adopted national plans and programs to develop the livestock industry using modern scientific methods, thereby enhancing productivity as well as promoting preventative primary care, supporting farmers and applying best practices, techniques and capacity building. This came on the sidelines of the meeting between the Works Minister with the CEO of PICO, Khaled Ahmed Jam'an, in the presence of the CEO of Injaz Bahrain Organization, Sheikh Hassab bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, which discussed the organization of the event. The minister stated that Mara'i is an opportunity for investors in the livestock industry to view the latest products of global organizations and establishments. He called on investors to take advantage of the presence of the international companies specialized in the sector to contribute to achieving food security in the country. The first edition of the event, which was launched in 2010, was patronized by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, which reflects the support of the kingdom to livestock production and fish farming within the work program of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as the Economic Vision 2030. The exhibition will be accompanied by a number of scientific, cultural, recreational and commercial activities. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Hamedan has affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is key to, rather keen to ensure a decent life for individuals and families and improve the income of low and middle income families is a part of the framework of His Majesty the King's comprehensive reform project. He pointed out that the cabinet's last session statement presented an integrated system of social protection that included direct financial support to families and citizens, a total amount of 382.5 million Bahraini dinars. Hamedan noted that social security beneficiaries in 2017 amounted to 15,523 citizens, while the total disbursements amounted to 21,500,000 Bahraini dinars. The minister also referred to a series of government initiatives aimed at alleviating the living expenses of citizens, including the financial support program for low-income families. This allowance is entitled to each family with an income of less than 1,000 dinars through direct government financial support. In 2017, the number of beneficiaries of the financial support amounted to 1,185,989 Bahraini families for a total amount of 128 million Bahraini dinars. Hamedan pointed to the government's keen interest in the special needs category of citizens and maintaining their gains through a disbursement as the number of beneficiaries last year was 11,411 citizens. The total disbursements amounted to 18 million and 100,000 Bahraini dinars. In the framework of direct monetary support to citizens, Hamedan pointed to the initiative of the monetary compensation in exchange for the lifting of subsidies on meat, where the number of beneficiaries reached 154,642 families in 2017, and the total disbursements amounts reached 25 million and 100,000 Bahraini dinars. On the other hand, as part of a royal decree issued in 1999 aimed at reducing electricity and water expenses for low-income Bahraini families, the number of beneficiaries of this reduction was more than 31,000 
741 citizens during the past year. The Representatives Council has held its weekly session today, chaired by the First Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ali Abdullah Al Aradi, and in the presence of a number of council members. At the beginning of the session, the First Deputy Speaker asked to adjourn the meeting for half an hour to consult on the decision of holding company for oil and gas to adjust the prices of gasoline and Jade and Mumtaz quality for the year 2018. The Council approved to discuss an urgent proposal on the cancellation of the decision to adjust the prices of gasoline, approving it and referring it to the government. Following the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 4,800 housing units in various governorates. The Housing Ministry continued distributing the units of Block 609 housing project in Sitra to beneficiaries. Housing Ministry's Assistant Undersecretary for Policies and Housing Services, Dr. Khalid Al Haydan, said that the distribution process continued today and will continue until the middle of next week highlighting the Housing Ministry's keenness on putting forward adequate solutions and mechanisms to ensure the delivery of services that meet the increasing demands on housing in an integrated atmosphere in terms of construction, services and facilities. Al Haydan added that the beneficiaries had been contacted in order to report the Housing Ministry and finalize the distribution of the housing units. The beneficiaries praised the procedures and forces and hailed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's order extending sincere thanks to the leadership and the government for their interest in the citizens and keenness on providing housing services to them. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,315.17 points, marking a decrease of 5.23 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 66% of total shares. 87 transactions included 5,992,509 shares worth 1,334,000 and 731 Bahraini dinars. The Abu Dhabi International Financial Center ADIB and the Bahrain Economic Development Board ADB announced the signing of the first agreement of its kind in the region to enhance cooperation to the development and application of financial technology and contribute to transforming the region into an integrated and vibrant support environment for the business of financial technology institutions. The agreement provides a comprehensive uh, framework for the exchange of information and experience facilitating the transition of startups of professional competencies and exchange of knowledge between the two sides. <laughs> 